With me is Ajaz Ahmed, who famously set up FreeServe with Dixons. Um, it was sold for 1.6 billion. Now, you didn't get all of that money, Ajaz, but you have been continuing. You haven't needed to work since, but you've been using your skills to help other people. Can you just tell me what you do now and the things that are difficult, even for someone like you who's well known, and what you do to market yourself? Uh, since FreeServe, I've helped an awful lot of businesses. I've sat on the board of some public sector companies and some private companies. And I'm still well known, and the reason for that is because uh, I've met people, I've gone out there and met lots of people, networked. Uh, I've got into the press as well. I've been interviewed by lots of publications. But one of the things I learned about the press or PR is that people won't write about it if it's a boring story. If you've got a boring story, nobody's interested. But if you've got something interesting to say, then everyone will want to write about it. So one of the things I've done is uh, talk about controversial things. You know, I was in the Yorkshire Post um, a few months ago, and I was talking about HS2. And I said that I'm not really bothered by HS2 because by the time it gets here, I'll probably be dead. Uh, whereas if I just talked about HS2 in the normal way, they wouldn't have written about it. Uh, so the main way of marketing myself is by networking, meeting people, getting myself in the press by saying things a bit controversial, and it's worked. And have you had any challenges along the way? Are there things that you don't like about marketing yourself? Um, I think an awful lot of people, when they get out into the marketplace, uh, don't like selling themselves. I don't particularly want to sell myself. I'd prefer if someone knocked on my door. But the reality is it's just not going to happen. Uh, so you've got to make sure that you go out there and talk to people and ask for the things that you can sell, services that you can sell, build a personal website as well, and say on there the services that you can offer. People might read it and they might call you and you might benefit from uh, the work they've put in. And you mentioned that you only recently said that you'd like to help businesses. Just tell me about that. Um, I've been helping businesses since we've sold free, sir. But I never put my website, uh, the obvious thing, which is that if you need help, contact me. And it's made a difference. People now contact me simply because I've put on there that uh, I can help people. One of the things that uh, a lot of people uh, assume is that because of what I've done in the past and who I am, he must be very busy. There's no point contacting him because he's busy all the time. Uh, his phone must be ringing, people must be sending him emails. He won't have time to help my little business. But the reality is that I can pick and choose what I do and they, people should contact me. And sometimes when I meet people, I'm honest with them, that I have got time to do things and if it's something that I enjoy doing, then I'll help them. But tell people that you'll do that because otherwise people just automatically assume that you're very busy.